In the last video, I talked about some walks we did, finding treasure, and how we adjusted to a new life. So we're going to Parga, which is over there somewhere. So we set sail for the mainland and headed to Parga, which is a beautiful town on the coast with a fort on top of the hill. It's been occupied by many different countries. And we love this spot because there's a little place that you can anchor your boats, which we used to do when we were Nielsen flotilla skippers for Nielsen Active Holidays. We used to bring our boats here. We were really surprised to actually see a flotilla coming in. It's really tricky. You have to bring your boat in and drop the kedge anchor at the stern and actually ground the boat on the sand. There's a strange little ledge there. You ground it and then you take the bow anchor and you carry it out by hand onto the beach and then you just dig it into the sand and that's how you create a, a raft of boats. So Woody um, found it fascinating watching them and um, reminiscing about his previous life. We even found some time to wander over the hill and into Parga town, wander around all the little alleyways and down to the seafront. It's a really nice place to visit if you can. Homeschooling is becoming more of a routine now. So we managed to squeeze that in, in the morning and um, even talk about this amazing place that we were in. We then set off to a secret little anchorage called Two Rocks Bay, which is south of Parga. Not many people know about it, but it is really worth a visit. On the way, we decided we were going to get the children more involved in the sailing. On our boat, we have a massive head sail, the main sail and the mizzen sail. Meanwhile, our youngest son <laughs> entertained us <laughs> and our eldest daughter, she spent a lot of time on the helm steering the boat. So we had so much fun here. We only planned to stay here for a few hours, but we ended up staying for a few days. We found a cave. We found this most amazing beach.
we went around the whole beach trying to collect wood in order to have a fantastic fire that night.